What up guys? So I get asked a lot about influencer marketing, so I pulled over next to the Shell sign because Shell's been doing a great job with influencer marketing and decided to address this topic once for all. So the reason why you should go after influencer marketing is it's the quickest way to establish trust for your brand and for your company. A lot of people, you know, they want to wait, they want to try to build brand equity. The fastest hack to do it is to get that trust by leveraging someone else's reviews or their thoughts on the brand or just pay for it. So that's what influencer marketing really is. And you know, it really is underpriced right now. I'm talking about like, what is it? Around $7.50, around $15 per CPM. That's cost per impression on YouTube. Instagram's even lower. I know you may think the prices are high, but it's actually really low for, for what influencer marketing can do. But there's some key things that you need to really pay attention to. One is the demographic that you're going after, right? So always take a snapshot of the analytic or the demographic of the influencer you're going after. I'll give you a perfect example. I worked with this uh, bathing suit company and they really wanted this influencer so she had around two and a half million followers. We took a deep dive into what her, her analytics on Instagram, and we found out that 80% of her following is male. It's gonna be hard to sell female bathing suits and bikinis to an audience of 80% males aged 25 to 34. Not gonna work. So although you may have a perfect influencer in place, always make sure you see what their data is, make sure their following is your demographic based in your area. The next is make sure they're in your space. So if you're in the fitness industry, it makes sense to get someone who's fit to be your supermodel or your spokesperson. I know that sounds like common sense, but so many brands just try to go after the biggest name and that's not really the best approach to do it. Another thing is I don't necessarily go after the biggest audience. Sometimes I just want to go after a micro influencer, someone with a thousand or to 10,000 followers. And I know that's really, really micro, but hear me out. The reason why I want to do it is if I could send free stuff to them and they could take videos or pictures of it, that's content for me. Those are photo shoots that I couldn't pay for. So for the price of your t-shirt, your shoe, whatever product you're trying to sell, giving it away to someone and having them shoot some videos and pictures for you, that's way cheaper than an on location photo shoot in whatever place they're from. So hit up people in different areas so they're taking pictures in snow, in the sun, on the beach, whatever it is, get a bunch of content and that's your photo shoot for really, really, really cheap. And that's how you use it, influencer marketing for cheap and that's how you also use influencer marketing on a grand scale. Make sure you use all the tips that I just gave you.